Clear. I'm excited about. Uh, today I'm headed down near Chattanooga, Tennessee to spend four days uh, paragliding at Flying Camp, which is in Dunlap. I think it's around 30 miles uh, north of Chattanooga. Get this, six and a half hour drive from Dayton, Ohio, two and a half hour flight. It's all back roads, so it's a tough drive. So the nearest airport's an hour away, that's on the sectional, but I'll tell you a story later of where I'm landing and how I found out about it. Went ahead and filed IFR. Uh, it's been a little while since I've flown, so I'm just trying to uh, work the bugs out again. And uh, we're at 3,300 uh, climbing to 6,000. We're gonna overfly Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, and we're going to land at Monticello, which is near Lake Cumberland for fuel. And then from there, it should be a short 20 or 30 minute flight uh, to our final destination. It's around 9 a.m. I anticipate to be there about 11.30. Base is airport out of contact, Cincinnati approach now 121.0. 121.0, zero board out, I think. Tri-Pacer 6904 Delta, 4,500 for 6,000. Tri-Pacer 6904 Delta, Cincinnati approach, Cincinnati altimeter, 2 triple niners. Triple niners, 04 Delta. 
We're level at 6,000, just about 20 miles to the southwest, excuse me, southeast of downtown Cincinnati. A little hazy, but not too shabby. Feels nice to be on a long trip again. The plane was an annual. Last year I had it done in June, and I said I'd never do that again. So I, uh, in January, I called back to where I had it done last year, and they wouldn't call me back, sent emails, stopped in finally, and they told me they weren't taking any more outside work, only planes on the field. The downside to that is last year when I went to them, I made it clear that I was looking for a long-term mechanic. I ended up finding somebody on the field that is willing to do it and uh, does a great job. I'm real meticulous about it, which is what I wanted and did it in my hangar. Uh, also, allowed me to be a part of it and I learned lots of great stuff, uh, so. She's back and running. It happened to be June again, but what we're doing is we're going to take her back down in January. A few things, uh, we're going to do new, new spark plugs in January. We're going to send our bags out for our uh, inspection. Consider doing a recover on it over the next few years, so this winter would be like four twenty six wings. Under present heading, ready for the approach out of the turn. I want you over. Right there, if you can see those crossing runways, that's Lunkin Airport. Just east of uh, downtown. Air 577, contact tower, 118.3, good evening. It's a good airport to fly in if you want to go downtown and get dinner. You can grab an Uber from there. There's a 3189 Mike, Cincinnati approach, Cincinnati, out center 3, triple zero. So I'll tell you the story about where I'm landing at today. Uh, last time I was in Chattanooga, I drove down to do paragliding. Was looking for airports nearby because it's it's such a hard drive down there, six and a half hours or so. I really wanted to fly. But the issue was the nearest airport's an hour away, so by the time I rent a car, land somewhere, it just wasn't quite as appealing. So we're on top of this practice hill. And I'll insert footage right here. Super Cub comes in, lands in this really short area. That's my paragliding instructor. Uh, who's that? They're like, that's uh, that's good old Rick. He's got a his own little grass strip at his house, uh, right in the valley, five minutes away. <laughs> so of course I went over to Rick and told him I had a '57 Tri Pacer and. Would love to be able to fly down to Paraglide. Would he mind if I landed it in the strip? He said, buddy, go ahead anytime you want. I've got tie downs, and if I'm in, if I'm around, I'll even take you up to the site. So that's where we're going. We're going to Rick's. We're going to land there and tie down. We've got 426 flighting 120, but then maintain 4,000. For four days, and then go up to, uh, I'll find a ride up to the area where we Paraglide. I'm Rented their, they have an apartment on site. I rented for four days. We're gonna hang out. I brought my computer to do some uh, wedding video edits, some flying. Uh, it should be a great time. So next week is our family vacation, which is in North Carolina. All right, we're coming up on the Falmouth BOR. Still at six thousand. Been a nice flight. We're a uh, little tailwind, 106 knots is what we're cruising at. 121 miles an hour over the ground. Uh, pulled back a little bit to 2300 RPM. Maybe a little more than that. Archer Flexion 582, leveling 2500 runway heading. All right, one mile to Falmouth. Make a slight right turn. Helicopter 145, Whiskey Charlie, attention clearance. Good morning, hold for release. Clear to zero, Alpha 15 Airport. As filed, maintain at 3,000. Departure frequency 121.0, squawk 4271. Hold for release, over. 
like we're gonna get some actual. 197. Number 145, Whiskey Charlie, read back, correct, device number one, ready for departure. Approach, good morning, look at 901, leaving 2000 for 2500 and something. August 901, since departure, good morning, since altimeter 3000, climb and maintain 5000, I dance. I dance, climb and maintain 5000, look at 901. Autobot 901, radar contact 3 miles northeast of Lunkin Airport, turn right heading 120, vector for climb. Right heading 120, open 901. Number 145, Whiskey Charlie, I'm sorry, I confirmed, you see you ready to go. Uh, Roger, stand by. Autobot 901, turn right, heading 180, contact departure on 128.7, have a good day. 128, 7 and heading 180, 901. Autobot 145, Whiskey Charlie is uh, released for departure, enter control airspace, heading 270, maintain a 3000, Clarence Boyd. If not off by one three three five, if not off by one three three five, it's since you approach no later than one three three six of intention. Time is one three three zero and one half. I could ask for a different altitude to get out of this, but it's kinda in and out and I need some practice hand flying this, so I'm just gonna stay in it. Thirty seven miles to our next fix, which is the Lexington uh VOR, and then from there direct to Monticello, Kentucky for fuel.
20 miles to the north of Lexington. EPS 6505, Lexington, approach Lexington, altimeter 2 niner. Niner, niner, descend to maintain 10, 0, 2 niner, 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 descend to maintain 10, 0, 10, EPS 5505. 14 minutes to uh, the Lexington VOR, 54 minutes to our final destination. I'll show you here on 4 flight. There we are, there's Lexington, there's the VOR, 6,000. Good morning, Center, Tri-Pacer, 6-9er, Zero Four Delta, level 6,000. Delta, Indy Center, London, altimeter 29 or 9 or 8. 9 or 8, 0 4 Delta. Standing good morning, APS 9825, Hudson 2880, Hudson 40. APS 9825, Indy Center, descend now to flight level 23, 0, then cross Darby, Hatton, maintain 1 1000. Alright, guys, we're 35 miles out. We're going to do a uh, RNAV approach into runway 21. The wind's favoring 3, but just slightly. And uh, this is a more direct approach. Right now at Boyne County, Monticello is broken at 15, overcast at 21. The plan is to do this from Thibke. Indy Center should ask here pretty soon what our intentions are. November 6, 904 Delta, cleared off center frequency to obtain current weather. Notice at the Wayne County Airport. You can report back on with those that have approached your blessing. Delta Roger, and uh, can we do the RNAV into 2 1 from Sipke? November 04 Delta Roger, you're clear direct to Sipke, and you can expect that approach. Clear to Sipke, expect their approach to report Delta. Alright, so what we're going to do on the Garmin is go to our procedure, and we already have it loaded. We're going to activate the approach. And it's turning us to Fibke, 18.4 miles. We'll go ahead and brief this approach. We need to be at or above 4,000 to Fibke. Then we're going to follow up the glide slope down to Zug 2, which is at 2,900. And, uh, our LPB minimum is 1,257. That's 300 feet, one mile visibility. Probably go ahead and keep you guys on for the rest of the flight, 15 minutes. Check the weather. One, zero. Sky conditions scattered. Two, thousand, one, hundred. Temperature, one, niner. Scattered, 2,100. One seven Celsius altimeter three zero zero one. Descend to pilot's discretion, maintain four thousand. Descend to my discretion, maintain four thousand zero four delta. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my mixture in fully rich. Pull back the throttle a little bit, start a nice easy descent, 500 feet a minute to 4,000. Let's go ahead and get Unicom put in the second channel, 122.8. Got our weather, 5,300 for 4,000. GPS 9825, contact Lexington approach 120.75. Alright, won't do a whole lot of talking here, I don't think. I'm getting ready to go back in. Actual. What I do is right before I get into actual, like with 30 seconds or so, I start to focus on my instruments. Have a nice level approach as I'm going in. November 6 9 or 0 4 Delta, cross Fibke at or above 4000, cleared our number runway 21 at Wayne County, report Fibke inbound. 
Nipsky at 4000, uh, cleared for the RNAV 21 in Wayne County. I'll report Nipsky, 04 Delta. Hello, King Air 260 Tango Tango is uh, 244 descending 240, looking for lower end. Tango 260 Tango Tango, any center, descend to maintain flight level 230. Down to flight level 230, 260 Tango Tango. Number 7 Julia Mike, Center maintain flight level 200. Center maintain flight level 200, 7 Julia Mike. A little bumpy in here. Not terrible. Four thousand three hundred for four thousand five miles to Fibsky. Just to let you know my airspeed, I'm with the tri-pacer, you can come in right at full speed. Five, I'm 100, five, we got a tailwind, I'm at 115 knots. At I pull back to 2300 back. RPMs. 35 miles north of the Knoxville Airport, uh, maintain 13,000. All right, I'm at 4,040. I'm gonna hover there. You can be a little bit above, you don't wanna be a foot below. It starts the turn ahead of time here. You can see, it, so you have a nice even turn. Approach 6904 Delta is at 50 key at 4000. And number 6904 Delta, run to report to cancellation of IFR in the air at this frequency or on the ground with flight service. Change to advisory frequencies approved. We'll report and uh, frequency change approved. Thanks for your help. Zero four Delta. All right. We're out right now. Number 6608 Julia, contact right there is uh, the Atlanta glide Center slope. We're going to start dry, dropping down. 133468 Julia. We'll back her down. 2200 RPM. Wayne County uh, traffic, tri paces on the RNAV 21, uh, 10 miles out. Uh, Wayne County. 3,300 for 2,900 on the glide slope, 2.3 miles to Zug 2. We're descending between 4 and 500 feet per minute. Oh, let's get through this final approach fix. And IMC, and then we can count it. 20.75, you can see that we're going to approach 2,100. That's awesome. One mile to our final approach fix. If we're in actual, I can log that one, which I would love to, because I need some uh, approaches. Center 6904 Delta has the airport in sight. We can cancel IFR. Remember 6904 Delta, render IFR cancellations received. Swap can maintain VFR. Change to advisor frequencies approved. Swap can maintain VFR. Uh, thanks for your help. Deal with 4 Delta. Right now they're saying runway 3 is the best, so we're going to actually Enter a left downwind. Wayne County traffic, red tri pacer is uh, four miles out for a left downwind runway 13, Wayne County. Well, that was about the perfect amount of IMC. I got to account that uh, approach. Busted out, got to land the correct way for winds. That was awesome. That's Lake Cumberland right there. There's the airport. Beautiful airport. My family is from Monticello, Kentucky. My wife's family lives here. So when we come to visit, this is where we, uh, this is where we land. All right, let's do our uh, pre-landing checklist. Gas is on the right take, undercarriage is fixed, mixture is rich, and uh, props fixed, seatbelt, switches, door locks, all that, we're good. Put in a notch of flaps. Slow her down to 75. Wayne County traffic, red tri pacer, left base, uh, runway three, Wayne County. Wayne County traffic, tri pacer final, runway three, full stop, Wayne County. We're at 75%. 
70, one notch of flaps and we're dropping fine. Taxi. Monticello, Kentucky, Wayne County Airport. Get some fuel, use the restroom, and uh, probably text Rick and see what the weather is like over there. They got a bunch of rain last night, so I need to make sure the runway is still good, see where the clouds are. Wayne County, tri pacer clear of three, Wayne County. And, uh, man, I love flying. What a great freedom we have. It is awesome. I am going to pull to the pumps, get some fuel. $3.75. That's awesome. All right, guys, see you in a bit. This is the FBO at Wayne County in Kentucky. Really nice. TV, computer. Another one for flight planning, which is nice. We took off from Dayton, just south of Dayton, right here and then came down there's cincinnati lexington and right here I'm fueling up checking the weather one more time man it feels good here 60s all right just fueled up at wayne county and uh, just got off the phone with Rick. He said they didn't get as much rain last night as he thought, so runway should be good. Uh, he said still land to the west and uh, give me directions and he's gonna meet me down there. So I'm gonna fire the GoPros back up. I'm trying the DJI Osmos uh, on the wing this time. Let's see. All right, it's recording. And then I put the two GoPros on the inside. We'll see how I like that. Uh, I'm gonna jump back in the airplane and I'll uh, see you when we get started. Thanks for watching part one. In part two, we get to fly from Monticello, Kentucky to Dunlap, Tennessee. I get to do some paragliding and I get an awesome ride in Rick's Super Cup. Till next time, see ya. Yeah.